Been working with my chainsaw on a uh, large residential property uh, today, taking down gorse. Now, gorse is a really interesting plant. Um, it's considered a, a pest or a, a problem species uh, in many parts of New Zealand, but there's another uh, side to that coin. It's actually an amazing plant. Uh, what it does, it fixes nitrogen in the soil, so it colonises areas uh, that are often open. Um, it puts this nitrogen in the soil, which means that not only does it create conditions for its own spread, but it creates conditions for other baby plants to grow. Hence, it's a nursery species. So, um, for example, you know, a bird might, might eat a, uh, a berry off a tree, come flying over the gorse, poo it out, the seed lands on the ground, establishes, the seedling grows up under the safety of the gorse, very prickly as well. So um, animals may not be uh, uh, inclined to graze in it. it. Takes the nitrogen that the gorse has, has fixed in the soil, over time grows up, and when gorse is shaded out, it dies. Now this process can take, um, can, can take many years, 20, 30 years. Um, I'm going to put a link to a place called uh, Hiniwai Reserve, which is an incredible place down in the Banks Peninsula. Um, it was established by a trust who, who bought some land covered in gorse. Um, their theory was that if you leave the gorse alone, the bush will re-establish itself. Neighbouring farmers weren't too keen about that. Lo and behold, now it's a beautiful bush block and some of the farmers with neighbouring properties now want to covenant their land so they can do the same thing. So gorse, amazing plant. I um, just wanted to show you there's another one here too. This is um, Alamanuka, uh, another pioneer species, um, colonize, um, colonizes land which may be, uh, where the soils may be poor. Now this one um, has a cousin called Kanuka. And people sometimes ask me, how do you tell the difference? Well, you tell the difference by doing this, giving it a grab. If it's a bit prickly or a bit scratchy, that's manuka. Kanuka is more um, silky smooth. Now, just coming back to gorse, what do you do with it? Well, um, slash, burn, pull it out with tractor. One of the problems is um, it's, it's quite prolific in terms of its seed dispersal. And in a lot of places in New Zealand, it flowers twice. A lot of flowers in the ground. So you burn, you slash, you try and get rid of it, it's going to grow back. Um, from an organic point of view, I mean, what I um, uh, have done in the past, slash it, grows up, keeps flashing it. Slash it at flowering time when the plant is putting all its energy into, into reproduction, whack it down, um, it's harder for it to regrow. Keep doing that over time, um, if eventually it's going to go. And do the same thing with thistles. Really labour intensive, takes time, it does work. that you may um, attempt to get rid of gorse. Um, one of them is, um, people say, is letting the bush re-establish through it, uh, such as they've done in Hiniwai Reserve. Um, you can get these things called seed bomb, uh, uh, bombs, and they're clusters of seeds, I think. And um, clay, I'm not 100% about that. You chuck them up, up, up into the bush, they establish themselves, and it hastens the process of, um, of uh, regrowth. Um, the other way is goats. Goats love um, baby gorse. Um, they'll go around and quite happily munch on it and keep it down for you. Um, not everybody wants a goat on their residential property, but there you go. That's gorse.